up ladies, Coach Shauna here. Today I am going to talk about some modifications and some scales for the ring muscle up. Now I know a lot of you are setting the ring muscle up as your potential goal for maybe this year, maybe a couple years in, and you might see ring muscle ups programmed in your regular class wads, or you might even see it with our CFT programming and you go, oh my God, I can't do a ring muscle up. What am I supposed to do? Well, I'm gonna offer you some ways to figure out what level of progression you're at and then figure out how to build on that progression to help you get your ring muscle up when we have all of the strength and the stability to transition and press out. So you'll be ready when you get up on those rings for the first time. All right, let's do this. Okay, so let's talk first fundamentals of ring muscle up and I'll go over this fast. So what we're doing with the ring muscle up is we're starting from below the rings and we're pulling to our chest and pulling our bodies through and then we're gonna press up and out, right? So let's say that you just started your pulling journey and you might not even have your first pull up. Then you're looking at me and you're going, Shauna, you're crazy. I can't practice a ring muscle up yet because I don't even have a pull up. You're right, I'm not gonna have you do that. But what I am gonna have you do is start practicing some of the pieces of the ring muscle up so that you build that along as you build your overall pulling strength. Now, one of the most important pieces of that muscle up is developing false grip. So our ability to be able to hold that ring right here on the wrist, which is very uncomfortable and challenging, okay? So we're gonna develop that false grip. And then we wanna develop a low pull. So when we're doing a pull up, we're pulling to here, right? When I do a muscle up, I'm gonna be pulling much lower so that my torso can go through the rings. Or even with a bar muscle up, so my body can go over the bar. So rather than continuing to pull here, I wanna build out the strength to be able to pull lower. And it's gonna look like this. You're gonna take those rings. Again, we're gonna practice that false grip as comfortable as it might be. We're gonna hold on really tight. And then we're gonna walk down. So now when I pull, I'm pulling under my bra line instead of maybe we're used to doing ring rows and we pull like this, right? I wanna develop a lower pull and I wanna develop more of the, the muscle up pull. So I'm gonna to pull to here, okay? that's going to change the stimulus significantly and it's gonna help you build out a stronger pull overall. But again, you're gonna get comfortable with those rings in your hand. So that's step one. If for someone who doesn't have a pull up yet, let's start developing this overall pulling strength and work on some false grip strength at the same time. Now, we still have to practice the dip, right? I am a firm believer in creating confidence with our different pieces of equipment. So if I have a muscle up program, I can still, as a new athlete who doesn't have my pull up, practice a lower ring pull up with pulling like this, because you'll see when we do muscle ups, we don't do, when we kip our muscle ups, we don't actually pull like this, we pull like this. So I wanna get you comfortable with those elbows out. And then I also want to get you comfortable with the dip. So this is great because you can still use your feet for this. So after I do maybe a few of these, or even if I just wanna do one, I can pull myself through and then I can be in that dip position and I've got my feet on the ground. So I could, from here, I could just press up and I could get comfortable with the instability of those rings, okay? So that's step one. If you don't have your pull up, Let's have you start practicing a lower ring row to just the transition piece and then practicing dipping out. And then as we get more comfortable with the dip out, we can make that harder and harder. Now, the next one we're gonna talk about is called the Jolly Jumper. This is one of my most favorite ways to get athletes comfortable with the pull and the transition and the dip out of uh, the muscle up but with some assistance. So you're going to take a 
medium thickness band and you're going to loop it up in between your rings. Now, this is awesome because it's going to teach you what it feels like to catch yourself and be able to press out because the stability component of the ring muscle up is huge. I don't know if you've ever watched someone, but you'll see the athletes where they aren't super stable, they can't press out or they might shoot themselves through the ring. So this is gonna help you develop confidence in your ability to transition and the strength piece of it. Very, very important. So if you're an athlete who sees the ring muscle up and you're at a place where you have your pull up, then let's start playing around with the jolly jumper. You're gonna take the band and you're gonna get into it, trying not to pull your ponytail while you're doing it, and it goes down underneath your butt, okay? Then from here, again, we're still practicing that false grip. We are going to pull ourselves up and through the rings and this is gonna assist you in the dip out too. So you can do multiple reps of this. Another reason why I really like So you start on the ground. You can start, uh, depending on the thickness of the band, you can start with your feet and your butt completely on the ground or a little bit engaged. Looking up, pulling through, dipping out, okay? And like I said, you can practice this for reps. This is called a jolly jump. Ooh, and then get to get out of it. The last one we're gonna talk about is your jumping ring muscle up. I'm only going to have you do this if you have gained confidence with your jolly jumpers and you know that when you transition, you can pull yourself fully through the rings and press out with stability, right? I want to make sure that as you press out, and you'll see it with this, you have the ability to keep those rings close. I can't have you jumping up and going, oh shit, because that would be a calamity. With your jumping ring muscle up, you now have the opportunity to develop that pull, and again, the dip and the stability at the top. So you're gonna get your box, and these rings are high, so my box has to be pretty high. I want the rings to be at about face height. If I have the rings lower, they're gonna be easier. If I have them higher, I'm gonna have to jump harder, right, and have a bigger pull. So I don't want you killing yourself with this. I want you to be able to perform at least three to four reps unbroken. So figure out your, your height relative to your, I don't know, conditioning capacity maybe, or your confidence with this, because these are very, very fatiguing. Muscle ups are very fatiguing. Now, I want you to try to practice as much as possible what your positions are going to look like. It's gonna be harder because we're jumping, so I need my legs underneath me to jump, but I'm gonna do a lot of the same stuff. So, I'm starting here looking up, and as I jump, again, just like we talked about with our initial uh, ring rows, we're pulling to down here to get our bodies through the rings, and then I'm gonna press out. So it's gonna look like this. And press out. Okay, and then I want you to come back down into that dip, and then you can cycle it as many times as you want. So these are our progressions. If we don't have our pull up yet, we're just practicing those low pull ring rows, and then the feet assisted transition with the dip out to get familiar with the rings. If we have that stability and now we can hold the rings close and we want to practice more pulling and we have our strict pull up, then we're gonna do the jolly jumpers. And then when we have unassisted dips and we're confident with nothing supporting us through the rings, then we go on to our jumping ring muscle ups. After that, you hit up a coach and you say, I'm ready to learn how to kip. And then we get you some coach assisted muscle ups and then you're on your way. All right, hit me up if you have any questions and I can't wait to hear how your ring muscle up journey goes.